So we humans have already uh, increased our energy consumption in the last 100 years by a factor of 10. And the big question everybody's asking is, what's going to happen in the next 100 years? Are we going to double the energy or five times more energy or maybe 10 or 20 times more energy? Nobody really knows, but your guess is as good as mine. Um, but but we have to think about where is that energy going to come from? I mean, clearly, if we're going to make 10 times more energy in the next 100 years, wind and solar and hydropower and coal and oil and gas cannot deliver that amount of energy. So we have to switch to nuclear. But if we only want to double the, the total amount of energy in the world, maybe we can continue with the current mix of energy we have. Um, I find that unlikely, personally. I think we're going to go five or 10 or 20 times more energy in the next 100 years. And in that case, uh, we will need a lot of nuclear energy. And then, of course, there's tr traditional nuclear energy, which would have a really difficult time scaling to uh, 10 times more energy. And if we go to 20 or 30 times more, forget about it. Then you, you have to have either fusion or thorium energy. And thorium energy is likely the cheapest one and the one that can scale the fastest. So I believe that's going to be the winner. Um, if we look at, if we wanted to make 10 times more energy in the next 100 years from thorium energy, what would that cost? It would cost roughly uh, 35 trillion US dollars uh, in today's money, which is roughly the same as we expect to uh, spend on transportation by 2050. So it's actually not that expensive and it's doable. I mean, we sort of have the technology already today. It still needs commercial uh, to be uh, proven commercially, but it's, uh, we've shown that it will work.